Mr. C, I want to return to your comments about the sh vaccine shortages around the country. And of course, here in the U.S., we're seeing uh, in booster shots being distributed widely. And yet many countries, poor countries around the world, have yes, yet to receive their first vaccine doses. Can you give us your take on that? Are wealthy countries doing enough to help lower income countries access those vaccines? I think it's shameful, simply put. You know that uh, we have nowadays more people receiving their third shot in the rich world than people receiving their first one in low and middle income countries. And I think there is a fundamental misunderstanding here that global solidarity is founded on generosity and not justice, on goodwill and aid rather than equity and common interest. It is not simply a matter of ensuring vaccine equity, as important as it is, it is also ensuring that low and middle income countries have equal access to preventative measures like PPEs and treatments, you know, like oxygen. And if we don't do that, the motto that we keep on all repeating, namely, none of us is safe until we all are, will not have, you know, any meaning. What can deportal nectar situation, active citizenship, political leadership. And that is the reason why we are really hoping, you know, that, you know, leaders will emerge and then do the right thing. And I mean, leaders in all countries, in rich and poor countries, you know, to focus on global health and make the necessary investment and also the global solidarity that is required for the sake of equity and the safety for everybody.